the 66 rescue people, the helicopter, and all flew off and drove away, and there we were, chilling in the bottom of Australia. The swell was pumping, and we had a boat there. We woke up the next morning, sun was rising, and went 16 k's out to sea. It was like howling side shore at this one crazy hollow wave. Wow, might as well just go in, try to find some other ways. We are driving back in, I was down the back of the boat, and I had like a little hood on, and I was right next to the motor, so I couldn't really hear much, and I just seen all the boys just started to jump at the front of the boat, just throw their arms in the air, just turn around, smiling, giving each other high fives, and I was like, what's going on? Like, what's happening? I didn't really know, I couldn't hear anything, and I sensed something really cool and exciting was happening, so I was, I was just like, What's happening? Time went on. About five minutes later, we turned up right next to this bombing. It was like 15, 20 foot barrels. I was just like, wow. It was about as big as a garage, the reef. And it was just massive lines of waves wrapping around this bombing 14 k's out to sea. So I was thinking, this is crazy. This is like miraculous, you know? We didn't expect this. <laughs> At that point in time, I was, I just remember God was fully hinting and telling me two weeks earlier that you were going to get the biggest wave of your life, Brenda, and I just remember thinking like, oh, this is it, you know, this is the day. <laughs> so I got real pumped. Novi said, I'll drive. Bryce got his camera out, Luke got his camera set up, and we're just thinking, this is it. Jumped in the ocean, and me and Glenn and Ryan just chatted to Jesus about it and just fully just called on him once again. I got my first wave, and I got worked. Penn's got a cracker, and then Ryan got a cracker, and here we are, K's out to sea in the bottom of Australia, surfing like 15 foot barrels, the wind, had, the wind just turned perfect offshore, it was so crazy, so amazing. I got my second wave, and um, just scooped in and just barreled around me. It's like, and I just got spat out in the channel, I just remember Bryce throwing his arms in the air, just yelling and yelling and just Luke was like looking at me, he just looked up, like stunned. He'd just finished changing roles, but that was all good. Just kept paddling out and I thought, wow, was that that wave that God was telling me about? And I don't know whether it was, but the next wave I paddled out and just paddled in, just so pumped, sick, free fell and I remember scraping the reef a little bit and popped up and my face felt really funny. I don't know what was happening. I, I went to like feel around with my tongue and my tongue like popped out the side of my face like there and then my lip was hanging off I realised and then I kind of thought wow and then a big wedge came right, right up behind the reef and like wedged up and I kind of got a lot of buoyancy and I lifted myself up and just like threw my arm in the air once and the boys just saw me straight away came right around the reef picked me up and I just flopped onto the boat and they just started wrapping me up and like I was like so pumped so stoked so content I was just like praying and just saying to Jesus like I pray this you know this this goes for you Lord and like I just pray that you do your will in this and all sorts of stuff and I was just praying heaps but um, all the boys I felt like they were really moved by the situation and I was so pumped because I knew Jesus told me two weeks earlier that I was going to get the biggest wave in my life. Me and Glenn were actually praying about it at church. It's just awesome how he supplied that bombing in the middle of nowhere for us to do that at. Anyways, I went to hospital and I got 63 stitches in my arm and my face and um, my friends lovely Christian family come and pick me up and just chilled and cared for me and took me to church the next day and I ended up just getting up the front in church the next day and talking to like hundreds of people about this situation. <laughs> it's just a four days, you know, it's fully life, life moving stuff. <laughs> but I just loved every minute of it. I knew I was just safe in God's arms the whole time.